Hi everybody, this is Bull Guest Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Walmart exclusive Ultimate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze European Homage Shredder figure. So now that we have that mouthful of a title out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at all of his accessories. So first up, he comes with a set of fisted hands. Up next, he comes with a set of open hands, and these are sculpted really nicely. They also have a wash of black over them, bringing out those details very nicely. Up next, he comes with a canister of TGRI, and this time it's done in silver and blue. The last time it was done in silver and green. You can see the silvers are a little different. This one has, I think it has a little bit of blue mixed into it. And finally, he comes with his spear. And this time, the tip and the end of the spear are done in that metallic light blue color. And the handle itself is done in dark blue. I really like the colors on this one. The colors really stand out. The last ones were done in black and silver. But yeah, I really like the colors on this one better. So this figure is pretty much the same exact figure that we got the last two times. The main differences are the collar, the cape, and the, uh, the belt, which I'll show in just a second. The color to the shoulder pads this time are done in metallic purple. And it looks really good. Like I said, I really love all the colors that NECA did on this one. He has that dark purple collar with all the black in between all of the muscles. Brings out all the details very nicely. Now the cape. This cape is done really, really well. When light hits it, it'll turn different colors. Like you can see some shades of green, some shades of red, some pink to it. I just really like how this looks and how it kind of changes depending on where the light's at. It looks really good. Um, the inside of it's done just in a plain black color. But yeah, this is probably my favorite cape out of the bunch just because of that color, how it changes. It, it looks really awesome. And as I said, the other main difference is the belt there. This time the belt has the throwing star and the spikes on it. And these spikes, they're actually kind of sharp there. You can see the place it made there in my thumb. Um, I actually thought these were going to be rubbery, but they're pretty stiff. But um, that is the other main difference with this figure. Here's what the previous two belts looked like. Um, the other one had some different colors to it. But yeah, this is an entirely new piece. So the articulation is exactly the same as the previous Super Shredders. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to see my previous videos with Super Shredder. Um, there I go over the articulation and all of the size comparisons. So for the only size comparisons, here he is next to the previous two versions of Super Shredder. All of these have been Walmart exclusives. Uh, the one on the left was the regular version that we see in the movie, and the one on the right is the stealth variant. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up because it is a really awesome figure, and this is my favorite version of Super Shredder so far. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know which version that you like the most. Honestly, if you have the previous two versions, you could just skip this one, uh, but if you're a completionist like me and want to pick this up, then I'd recommend picking it up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.